so whenever you're ready, clap. <laughs> I just clap again and go. So my favorite painting at the Milwaukee Art Museum is George Brock's Seated Nude, and it is a very colorful painting of a woman sitting in a red chair. She is almost nude. She's wrapped in a sort of a blanket or a, or a towel. And this red chair she's sitting in looks like a, a, a red plastic chair, although we know it couldn't be because this was 1906, but it's, it's kind of crooked. It's, the whole environment is kind of crooked and kind of funny. It's full of purples and greens and blues. Um, the background doesn't look like an indoor background at all, which is weird because she looks like she just got out of the tub, for example, and she's in a chair. But there's, there's these dots that go around her, almost like swarming bees, these little purple dots that are flying all around her body. And, and then there's this, this big purple thing in the background that looks like a mountain. So it looks like a beautiful, bright spring painting. Um, and it's kind of titillating. I mean, she's, her skin is drawn in this luscious way and, and painted in all these different colors. It's predominantly kind of a, a goldenrod yellow that glows. And then there's this very ugly green shadow, it's almost a sickly green that sort of draws your eye away from the boring parts. And, and there's this neon pink in the, on, the, on the cheek and on the hip and on the elbow. I guess the parts where George Brock wanted us to look. Um, so it's, it's just fun to look at and the texture is almost like cake icing. You have to see it in person just to really appreciate how luscious it is, like a Van Gogh or a Cezanne, who of course were painting around the same time. But um, I guess what's interesting, I, I found out later that, this, that George Brock in this style, in this very colorful style, not his cubism years, also appealed to a famous Milwaukeean, Mrs. Bradley, um, uh, Peg Bradley, of the Bradley Foundation. You know, they amassed an amazing collection of art. And before they were art collectors, in the 50s, she was walking down the street in New York City. She walked by a window with art in it, and she saw a George Brock painting. It was not this one, it was a different one, but she fell in love with it, went into the gallery, convinced her husband they should own it, and after that, they ended up becoming art collectors. They literally changed the direction of their lives and their investments because of her love affair with a Brock painting. So, you know, inadvertently, this French painter really set in motion a chain of events that has really built up the heart of the Milwaukee Art Museum. And I just think that's really interesting that George Brock was, was Mrs. Bradley's gateway drug to art collection. Hi, I'm Stacy Williams-Ung, and I'm a painter and a writer and a children's book illustrator. And I am an Art City contributor.